Hello everybody and welcome to this week's update video. My name is Martin. I am an independent Inkscape developer and I develop features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Welcome to these videos where I walk through some of the things that I've managed to do this week. And uh, this week for you, I have basically a really exciting in interview with Mark that you will find at the end. And what I've been up to th th this week is I had a, a one of my patrons who you can join if you like came to me with an interesting problem they um they said that it wasn't possible to link internally inside of a pdf file um to the same pdf file so you couldn't link from like page one to page two page two to page three uh page three to page one but you could link to some random internet address so you could link to like google.com but you couldn't link to the, a page within the same document and this seems pretty ridiculous when, when you think about it, but um, no, it was absolutely true. That this, is a, this is a restriction that Inkscape currently has. You cannot export a PDF file with a link that's not a URL. Um, so I, I wanted to inv investigate why this was, because even though, yes, yes, this, this is a feature and I'm supposed to be doing bug fixes and stuff, uh, sometimes you need to, I don't know, like take some time off from bug fi fi fixing and just investigate an interesting problem. Um, so this particular one is kind of interesting because SVG files themselves need to have a way to link inter internally. And um, we use the anchor tag for, for that, very much like with H HTML. And um, obviously, if you're linking to a website address, a URL, all you have to do is specify the URL in the anchor tag and you're done. But like, how do you link to a different page when pages aren't a part of the SVG spec? And how do you link to a object in that page? For, for example, say if you, you wanted to link to paragraph two on page three, etc. Um, so to, to do this, what we do is we, we take the what's known as the fragment part of the URL. So scrap everything to do with HTTP, www, wibbly wobbly, whatever. And you just take the, the thing that comes after the hash mark that you'll sometimes see on a URL. Um, that will specify the ID of the object itself that you're trying to link to. And what we can do is we can, in inside Inkscape, we can use that as sort of like the definition for you intending to link to another page or link to another object on another page and um, change the way in which we export um, the PDF files so that they will basically honor those links as specific uh, destination, what are known as destination links. Um, and make sure that we have the specific code in place to be able to link and automatically dislink things so that it's safe, so that it doesn't crash when you basically delete an object that's linked to, for, for example. Um, and I've managed to put together the fun fun functionality. Now, this is just the core fun functionality um, where that allows you to actually export the links and make sure that basically when you save the SVG files, the links still work in, in SVG if you open them up in, 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 in a web browser. So that's all good. I'm not happy with the interface at the at the moment. The user experience is pretty poor because um, in order to link to page two or page three, you actually would have to know the ID of page two or page three or an object that's on page two or page three, for example. Um, what would be better would be sort of like a drop down or some sort of like selectable interface, but I'm not sure. Design for the future is necessary. This at least puts in the actual core uh, exportable and like internal consistency so that future developers, maybe me in the future, who knows, can come back and just do the, the interface parts. Um, but at least like if you wanted to, you could use this to, uh, do a PDF with linking tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. Okay. So that actually brings us to an important point. It's like, when would this get in? Because it's feature freeze and this is a definitely a feature. Um, it looks like we'll probably be able to get it in for 1.3.1, which is a point release that happens after the 1.3 release. And um, that's probably sort of November time, give or take. Um, but I'm excited to pe for people to test it. So if this is something in your workflow that you're like interested in, um, get in touch and what I'll do is I'll, I'll give you the specific link to your specific operating system, um, as long as you tell me what operating system that you have. Uh, and you can tell me whether it works or not. Um, I may have to give you specific instructions for how to use it as well. 
Okay, so I did actually manage to fix some um, bugs, uh, some crashes in the XML editor. And uh, so um, I want to end with basically a big thank, thank you to, to all of my sp sponsors. Um, thank you to everybody who helps me basically spend time on Inkscape, hopefully making it better for everybody, but hopefully making it better for them. Specifically, if you have ideas, uh, like our friend who gave me the idea for the PDF link linking in pa Patreon, you can contact me. Um, it's a, I'm, My email is, is open and my Patreon has a little contact me link too. Um, but let's get into the in interview with Mark, because I think... Uh, Thanks for a really nice interview. And um, I'll, I'll see you all next week.